Hello, welcome to our service of morning prayer for Wednesday the 2nd of December 2020. In order to appreciate this service and follow it, you'll need a Bible of your own so that you can read the Bible readings by yourself because we haven't got time to put them into the service itself. And besides that, you need the leisure to be able to ponder on the scripture and consider it for yourself. And in order to give you that leisure, you'll need to pause the video. So if you're watching me on the other side of the room, make sure that you've got the video remote with you so that you can shut me out and listen to God speaking to you through the readings. This service follows the common worship scheme of doing things, uh, the lectionary uh, and the order of service. Let's invite God into our hearts by his Holy Spirit and onto our lips. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Reveal among us the light of your presence, that we may behold your power and glory. Blessed are you, sovereign God of all, to you be praise and glory for ever. In your tender compassion the dawn from on high is breaking upon us to dispel the lingering shadows of night. As we look for your coming among us this day, open our eyes to behold your presence and strengthen our hands to do your will, that the world may rejoice and give you praise. Blessed be you, God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be you, God, for ever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. Please pause this video as you pray yourself. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. The set psalms for today are Psalms 5 and 7, uh, and if you only have time for one, then the book suggests that Psalm 7 is the one to focus on. So here's a sung version of Psalm 7, Arise, O Lord, in your anger, rise up and judge. Against the rage of the 
enemy awake, oh God, bring your justice, rule over all from on high. And you might like to pause the video and reflect on those two psalms in your own Bible. The Old Testament reading today is Isaiah chapter 43, the rest of the chapter after where we got up to yesterday, from verses 14 to the end of the chapter. Please pause the video and read that for yourself in your own Bible. Uh, here's a, a song to put uh, some of that into metrical form. Uh, God says uh, that the people have been over-dependent uh, on the story of the Exodus, whereas he is a God of the present reality who is looking to do new things. And the New Testament reading today is in Revelation chapter 1, verses 1 to 8. It may be that yesterday you took the hint and didn't read the last part of chapter 20, and if so, you can read from chapter 20, verse 11, through to chapter 21, verse 8. Many years ago, uh, I took part in a lyrical challenge which got me into the whole business of writing songs, uh, and this was one of the three texts uh, that we were asked to write uh, songs on, uh, and this was one of my earliest attempts to put uh, pieces of the Bible into music. I caught a vision of a city that came from heaven to earth, adorned as a bride for her husband to a world of brand new birth. And I heard from the throne of 
voice announcing, now God will dwell with men. He will be their God and they will be his people forevermore. Amen. And in my vision there was beauty, the heaven and earth were new. The city was the new Jerusalem, with space for me and you. And I heard from the throne a voice pronouncing, Now God will wipe their tears. There'll be no more death or crying, pain or sadness, For gone are mortal years. Then in my vision was the throne room, A man from heaven who came, The beginning and the ending overcomer, With eyes of fiery flame. And I heard from the throne his invitation To him whose thirst I'll give Living water without money from my fountain So come and drink and live And in my vision were the people The for the throne were books The records of the actions of the lifetimes The good, the fair, the cruel and I heard from the throne the voice of judgment Call me while you have breath For the ones whose names are written in the book of life Escape the second death And in my vision I cried Jesus I thirst, I hear your word Oh come and save me from the darkness You died for me then I heard from the throne the words of welcome, yes you have overcome, you've believed in me and so you found salvation, I'm God and you're my son. I do think that the crucial thing uh, about uh, this uh, upland, uplands of the book of Revelation to which we've emerged uh, is that it says that despite all these tribulations and sufferings, uh, the gospel message is quite clear. Uh, those who cling to the Lord Jesus and who want his righteousness in their lives uh, and who trust in him for redemption are the ones whose names are written in the book of life and they can be quite certain of their upward destination at the end. Let us pray. The Collect for this week, the first week in Advent. Almighty God, give us grace to cast away the works of darkness and to put on the armour of light, now in the time of this mortal life in which your Son Jesus Christ came to us in great humility that on the last day, when he shall come again in his glorious majesty to judge the living and the dead, we may rise to the life immortal through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And please join us in praying the Lord's Prayer as Jesus taught his first disciples. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And so may the Lord bless us with confidence and assurance as we face the future with him. May the Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.